In this exercise, we are going to find a critical value associated with a two-tail test when testing a claim about a mean where sigma is unknown. A simple random sample of 1,862 births of Chinese babies resulted in a mean birth weight of 3,171 grams and a standard deviation of 428 grams. Use a 0.01 significance level to test a claim that the mean birth weight of Chinese babies is different from the mean birth weight of 3,369 grams for Caucasian babies. We would begin this problem by finding a claim. Here, the claim that's given is that the mean is different. Different does not tell us specifically less than or greater than, so that means our claim is going to be not equal to. This allowed us to find our null and our alternative hypotheses. The null hypothesis, as it always is, is the equality case. So we have mu being equal to 3,369 grams. The alternative hypothesis here is not equal to. Since we have an inequality, this is what allows us to know that we are going to be using a two-tailed test. Now, furthermore, nowhere in this problem are we given a value of sigma, the standard deviation of the population. The value about standard deviation that we are given, 428 grams, is about the standard deviation of a sample. Thus, we must use the student t distribution when working through this problem. So what that means for us is our critical value is going to be a t-score here, not a z-score. Looking at this graphically, we are going to want to find the two t-scores that encompass a total area under the curve of 0 0.01, 0 0.01 being our significance level. Since alpha is 0 0.01, to see the area in each of the two chunks, we will divide the alpha by 2. 0 0.01 divided by 2 will give me 0 0.005. This would represent the area under each piece of my curve here. Now, we can either use technology or use our t-chart in order to figure out these critical values. If you're using your TI-83 or 84 graphing calculator, please refer to those graphing calculator videos. Now, in order to use the t-chart, we must first take into account our degrees of freedom. 1,862 is a very, very large sample size. So we can use our large degrees of freedom here looking at 2,000. Looking at 2,000 and the area under the curve being 0.01, we want to look at the area in two tails being 0.01, or in one tail, being 0 0.005. Thus, we see that we are given a t-score equivalent to 2.578. However, since this is a two-tailed test, I should have two t-scores. So we want to make sure that we have a plus or minus to take into account both of these. So that means for us, our critical values, we have two of them now, are going to be that t is equal to plus or minus 2.578. Thus, we have found the critical value associated with a two-tailed test when testing a claim about a mean where sigma is unknown.